guys, how's it going? So, I was asked to make a response video for my friend who runs a channel, Desert Tactical. He nominated three channels to go ahead and show their three favorite rifles and break down basically why these are three favorite rifles. And then to continue the chain and nominate three channels of our own to do the same. So I'll first start off by showing my rifle. It's a Bushmaster XM15 QRC. I'll go ahead and do a safety check for you guys, just so you know it's not loaded. We are safe. So there's the empty chamber. As you can see, there's nothing coming out. It's good to go. Okay, so that's out of the way. So, it's a Bushmaster XM15 QRC. Now at the time when I bought this gun, I think it was 2018, it was right around the time the lawsuit was starting to hit Remington, and I didn't know at the time, but Bushmaster was in jeopardy of their company being bankrupt and just no longer existing. So as of today, they are no longer manufacturing this rifle as many other models of AR-15. Pretty much everything Bushmaster makes except for one rifle. I forget the exact name of that rifle, but that's neither here or there. So this was my first AR-15. And they call it the QRC, stands for Quick Response Carbine, because the rifle comes zeroed with an optic which I have right here. This is the optic that came with it. It came zeroed. It's kind of a medium to high raised optic red dot. And what I love about this rifle is, and with all AR-15s, is how easy it is to make it your own, customize it, add aesthetic things as well as operational pieces. So I'm going to kind of go over the modifications and add-ons that I've done with this rifle alone in the two years that I've owned it now. I've been able to make countless videos using this rifle, whether it be to review a particular accessory or just do a reliability test on magazines or anything. So what I've been running on this lately is I just have a Feachi reflex sight right here, just a reflex red dot sight. It's nothing top of the line, more of an entry level optic you can get on Amazon for about 40 bucks. And then I also have this Feachi tactical flashlight right here, which is 1200 lumens, which is really bright. And it comes with two rechargeable lithium ion batteries which is awesome so you never have to buy new batteries unless one of them burn out and then some of the just aesthetic upgrades i've done to it is i have this punisher decal emblem on there as well as this custom magpul p mag that was done by what's the name of that company leo armory Okay, so just real quick, all of these right here are just some of the optics and accessories I've used on here. There's some that I've sold over time and some that I've traded that aren't here. So I just wanted to go over this real quick. Okay, so the very first thing that I bought for my AR was obviously this rail. The main reason why I wanted it was because these things don't come with pick rails on them. And I bought, I think, two or three different sets of rails, and none of them would attach to this system, even though it said in the description they would. And I mean, this is just the plastic with a little bit of sheet metal inside, mill spec handguard, anyways. I mean, it looked cool back when Scarface was around, but it's not really practical nowadays. And then after I got the new handrail, I got this Magpul forward grip. You see there, it just attaches. And since this is an M-lock handguard, you just screw it right in, and then these two nuts lock it into place. 
And then another thing I got was this Brass Catcher by Feachi. So when you're shooting out in the woods, your shells go flying and you can't find them. Now this attaches very simply. You just wrap this Velcro band around the handguard and then this rigid piece of aluminum right here stays in front of where your bullets are ejecting and catches them and it's made with a heat resistant nylon mesh and then I'll go over these a little quicker now this is just like a grip for your magwell basically and then we got this M-Lock bipod which I really like this thing it's great for if you're going to be shooting prone it attaches really easy with this little thing right here I'm not going to take the time to do it now but they pop down like that and I think I only paid about 20 bucks for these and I've seen comparable ones online going for close to 100 bucks then you got other stuff you can put anything on an AR it's like a Lego set the thing just snaps onto it basically got these backup 45 degree iron sights you can have them offset on your rail like that and then they pop up so that way you can still be running a red dot and then have these as a backup if the battery dies you can get this is a red dot magnifier of course this is the red dot that came with my Bushmaster QRC and this rifle is definitely sentimental to me. It was my first center fire rifle. But yeah, that's basically, I love this thing because you can just do whatever you want to it and make it look like your own. That's why the Bushmaster XM15 QRC is my favorite rifle. It was my first AR, so obviously it has some sentimental value to it. And it has allowed me to be able to make many videos on accessory reviews and just all kinds of stuff. So there's not many rifles that are this easy to customize, switch parts out, and just do whatever you want with. So that's why I chose this. And I want to thank Desert Tactical for uh, calling me out and asking me to tell what my favorite rifle is. And this is my video response to him. He nominated me and two other gun YouTubers, so I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to put links to all four of these channels. Desert Tactical, who nominated me, and then I am going to nominate The Modern Caveman, Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors, LLC, and Cast and Blast. So just go ahead and make a quick video showing and telling us about your favorite rifle and why it's your favorite rifle and then if you feel compelled to call out three other youtubers to do the same so I just want to thank everybody for their time and support and don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel and have yourselves a good rest of your weekend thanks for watching